may be cute. You're something. All right, buddy. Good morning, good morning. I am rushing around like a mad woman. Uh, we got milk to make, milk to make, milk to do. And it's starting to rain. And I'm trying to get down to the horse barn to feed the two babies in the barn. And Jason's gonna pick me up. <sighs> Breathe, Kayla. Breathe. Okay. I'm not turning the barn lights on this morning. So it's gonna be dark. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I don't know if I even told you guys about these two. These are new. They've been rubbing their noses on the, the wood of the stall. So I got little nose bruises. Yes, you do. Guys, I can't hold the bottles and video very well. Uh, so this is one of ours. Um, her mama just wasn't giving her enough milk and she was robbing from everybody else. So we brought her home. And then Brian brought me a strand, stranded little fellow. Um, they think he's a twin, but they couldn't ever figure out who his mom was. So here we are with two more. Bex and Teddy are over at the cattle farm, so. We'll uh, get them done here in just a minute. Shiloh's not exactly happy about her roommates, but her and Lee are gonna go over to the farm here in a couple days, hopefully. Yeah. It'll all work out. It always does. cash up we're taking him to get jumped which I don't know how much I will video um, I'll try to ask Jacob some questions today I wrote down a whole bunch and then forgot them at home story of my life um, but more or less we're taking cash our two-year-old um, black Hereford bull that we bought at Central States we are taking cash over to get jumped more or less we are collecting his semen um, for our AI for our own purposes so that way we can utilize um, time synchronizing because we have so many ladies to breed back that we really want to AI some and so he doesn't have to work so hard. Um, the benefits of AI are that you can use the same bull and get the same genetics without overstressing him because technically he really can only do like 25, 30, 30 of them and we have 80 some plus. So it makes a difference. AI gives you a lot of different opportunities. You can cross and just play. A lot of it is play. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do that in May, I believe. Late April, May. I haven't quite figured out when all that, when dad, <laughs> when Jason's going to do it all. I need to get out of his way. I'm trying to put the pickup where it doesn't get stuck to show you guys what all we did yesterday it looks really really freaking good I'm really impressed with how well yesterday went I didn't video any of it sorry does anything look different good though looks real good are you pleased with how it looks this morning now yeah well that's perfect 
perfect. Look, the door just barely fits through there. Look at that. All right, I gotta go feed these guys. <sighs> so yesterday we worked on the cattle barn all day yesterday. It's just really hard to video and run the skid loader and do all the things. Good morning, boo. You're so big. All right, go get in the trailer. It's all coming together one day at a time. <sighs> one day at a time. Okay. I gotta feed these little guys. You guys, I enjoyed yesterday sunshine. Huh? What? Did he eat those cubes? Oh, I don't know. I didn't look. Oh, I was working. I Oh. You back? Sorry. He didn't appreciate his treat? No. Alright, well, let's load him up. I guess. Well, he's just probably not used to them. <laughs> Couldn't have done that again, huh? Whoops. All right, where you want me at? Behind you or what? Sure. Whoops, don't trip. Go on, boo. Good boy. That's how he's supposed to. Well, the more he does it, the more he's going to go. Scoot your butt up. All right, buddy. Do you need a pep talk? You know what you're doing now? You good? Got it all under control? I can't decide if you're cute, ugly, or a little bit of both. Maybe cute. You're something. Good job, buddy. <laughs> now we're gonna go back in too. He did good. He did good. Jason's gonna go back the trailer up and then we'll load cash and then find some lunch and go home. So uh, it's been another productive day for cash. We jumped him, we got good semen, right? The little source. So we just got back from Clark at Cattle Visions. Um, we're gonna drop cash off back in the pasture because he's done his job for now. Uh, we may have to pull him back out in a couple weeks but he's just gonna go back out for now. Uh, Jason's gotta get back so he can load hay to deliver tomorrow. I've got some paperwork I need to catch up on and a few errands to do. And some editing, of course, cause I'm behind. And then um, I may actually take you guys back down. Um, I need to kind of explain a little bit more in depth what we're doing with this whole semen stuff and just kind of give a better, better explanation of it maybe. 
Um, I didn't really do a whole lot of talking about it at Cattle Visions, but ideally the whole point behind us getting straws um, is so that our herd is more uniform. So if we are using most of the same bull, then he he only has to go back in and clean them up more, more or less. The ones that don't take for the AI or whatever. Um, but this gives us all more of a more of a um, uniform calving cycle and uh, different things. But we are also going to be selling his semen on Cattle Vision. So you guys, for any of you that have looked at Cattle Visions or, you know, different semen sires, um, select sires is one, show me, I don't know what the others are, but you can look at Cattle Visions down below. And uh, he's not going to be on the site yet, obviously, but he will be eventually be available. And then we also have the little, the I call him the junior bull. Um, he will be going over probably towards the fall because he, he just turned one. So after he's 14 months, he'll go over and we'll draw semen off him too. And we'll have our black Hereford semen available. Fun stuff, fun stuff. So we're gonna drop him off and uh, yeah, grass is starting to kind of green up. I am ready for spring. It's 55 degrees, but it sure don't feel that way today, so. They're drawing semen on him and he's gonna say, well, just in case he breaks back. <laughs> That's because they've had one happen like that. girl today if you guys follow which I know some of you guys do um, follow Sandy um, Sandy Brock sheepishly me um, she doesn't know I'm doing this but I just Jess could use some prayers sorry I'm still not sure about that disregard Siri um, they could use some prayers um, I don't know a whole lot of details I just know they could use some prayers so that's if you feel led to pray please pray for my friend sandy and her family um and go watch watch their sh their uh, youtubes um jess has a channel too she's actually like i think got two um i just follow them around but um i don't know i just don't know if i'm gonna use it but spring is coming, the grass is greening up, and I cannot wait to be back in the field. I am so ready. I am so ready for sunshine and hot weather. I am so ready. Like, where's he going? Oh, they're going with their balling. Oh. Can you guys see? He's not white no more. There's the other boys. My friends! My friends! Oh yeah, because he's been away from him for two weeks. Woo! We'll give him some silage later. Okay. Did you guys see any of that? Or did I have like the lens all funky? I'm sorry. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit. What is it? I don't know. I can't decide if she's like, tag it and get on with it, or don't touch my baby. It's a bull. Her last one was a bull. I guess I couldn't, shouldn't complain. She's got two heifers out here with babies. go. Now take it. Go get you some super. Go get you something to eat. Take it. Let's get try to get it across here. 
Good mama. Good mom. She's such a faithful girl. She's one of our original Show Me Selects that we bought. And she has two daughters out here that have given us calves this season. 